I thought I'd share a recipe with you, just a very quick recipe. I know I should really be in my kitchen, but there's too many people in my house and I get really self-conscious. Believe it or not, I get really self-conscious when people are listening in to me. I'm fine if I'm in the, in the house on my own and I'm fine if I'm in the car because I know no one else is around apart from random people outside. But that's fine because they can't hear or see me. No, they can see me, but they can't hear me. Uh, so they don't know that I'm actually just talking to myself. They think that I'm talking to my twin sister who's very similar to me. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so brownie recipe. So I found this really cool brownie recipe online. It's no big secret. I'm sure you just Google it, you'll find it. But it's basically Nutella brownies, but they are so, so easy to make. They are the easiest thing, and especially with the school holidays and children, so easy, you'll be their best friend if you make it with them. So basically, you get a 400 gram jar of Nutella, easy peasy, so just empty that jar of Nutella into a bowl. You then take three eggs, crack them bad boys in with the Nutella. Now this is a bit weird, you do need a whisk because the spoon ain't cutting it. You need a whisk because the whisk kind of mixes it together. It's very difficult at first and be very careful when you're mixing with the whisk that you don't slosh up the side. Not that that happened to me, I'm just saying it might happen to you. So give it a good whisk until it's all incorporated in so it's all lovely and smooth. Then don't lick anything because it's raw egg, you don't want that. Then you add 62 or 64. Mm, I'm sure two grams don't matter. 64 grams of self-raising flour, beautiful, and a pinch of salt, just a little bit. Whisk it all up, Bob's your uncle, you've got brownies. And I've got somebody coming back to the car, so I'm gonna have to be really, really quick now. So um, yeah, so just whack it, mix it all up, put it in a pan. Obviously you need to grease or paper the pan, whatever you wanna do. And then you put it in the oven at 160 degrees, because you don't want it to be too hot, there goes the train. Uh, you don't want it to be too hot, and then it will just cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you like them slightly undercooked, check them at sort of 15, 20. But generally 20 minutes should be perfect. And then take them out and eat them all in one go. Enjoy. Laters. Bye.